Hi, I'm Dr. Pallavi. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist and uh, I'm the founder director for Her Clinic. A clinic which heals, empowers and respects women. I'm practicing as an obstetrician, giving life to so many babies and fulfilling many mothers' uh, dreams of having a child for the past almost 20-25 years. Delivered about 10,000 babies and, uh, and I also do a lot of uh, laparoscopic surgeries which help in elevating the pain of many women of many different gynecological conditions. It's been my passion to do obstetrics and gynecology because I believed in medicine this is the only physiological thing or normal thing where it allows me to be a part of the family. See, once I deliver a baby, I become a part of their family, their memories for their lifetime. So, you know, that is a very, very fulfilling thing for me and I'm very, very passionate about it. And it helps me that I um, alleviate, you know, I am compassionate with my patients and alleviate all their fears and I'm available to them throughout. It does sometimes get very challenging because I might not have time to myself or to spend with my family. But then at the end of the day, seeing the baby and the parents, their joy, it is all worth it. And on top of it, obstetrics and quality is all always been a joy fulfilling dream of motherhood for many women that is delivering babies. I have honed my skills in high-risk pregnancy because at the end of it if I can save both the mother and the baby it is you know my mission is fulfilled. So I have been doing high-risk pregnancies for the past almost 20 years now which is uh, very very uh, fulfilling. Uh, one of the most difficult moments uh, during my career or maybe in the initial beginning of my career is that I was doing my post-graduation when I had my first child but then I had to study I was away from home I was studying in Manipal my post-graduation I was all by myself in hostel and then once I came back and delivered my child here I had to leave my daughter as a daughter with my parents and go back to finish my study. But then, yeah, I tried to make it up and I think my kids, both of them, are also good with it. They have a lot of respect for me. Whatever said and done, pregnancy is a rebirth to the woman. You know, she goes there, she bears the pain. The pain for the labor, the labor pain is supposed to be on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. The, you know, the toughest or the most painful pain anybody can bear. When she's going through that, she needs a lot of emotional and moral support. We are fortunate to have the family system still intact, so you know everybody should be involved. Saris for me are the most elegant and timeless attires we can find. I've always been a sari girl because I used to watch right from my childhood with a lot of awe and inspiration when my mother used to wear her saris, how she used to drape them, how she used to pin them up, and both my grandmom and mom were. Uh, sort of sari weavers or you know they were interested in buying all sorts of nice saris so I was exposed to all that right from my childhood and I always loved wearing saris and probably the first time I wore a sari was uh, my 10th standard because we all wear it for our favorite parties but prior to that like 7th, 8th whenever my mom was not at home I used to you know rummage something from her wardrobe some sari which I really liked of hers I would try and tie it up and you know, pose as a teacher in front of me. I think all that we all did as a child. So for me, sari is a very, very versatile um, attire. You know, it, it can be draped any ways. And it is so rich in its heritage that it's passed down from generations together to us. So it's very important for me. It's, it's more of an emotion rather than just a piece of cloth. I do wear western clothes, I do wear the uh, uh, you know, salwars and all that, but then sari is the attire where I feel very empowered, confident, at the same time very feminine. So that's the beauty of the sari. And uh, it really personifies a woman's grace and you know, uh, you know, her uh, personality. Uh, I feel that's the most beautiful attire any woman can wear. And I'm actually um, very happy that these days youngsters are again reverting back to wearing saris. Though probably different styles, it, it's absolutely acceptable and it's, it's beautiful that way. And um, I am um, stickler for 
handlooms because I feel handloom and the weavers, they are artists. So they express their art through fabric. So, and uh, if we look at the handloom heritage of a country, it dates back to centuries and uh, we have a very rich heritage and we as Indians have the responsibility to revive, restore those handlooms and keep them intact because that is our national treasure as such. I don't think any other country has so many weaves as we have. So I always make it a point that I pick up some weave, you know, belonging to that place whenever I visit places or traveling. I try and collect different weaves. Um, I love matching clothes. So I am a sari lover. Any day, any it could be a cocktail party, I still can carry a sari uh, for a cocktail party. I don't need to wear a cocktail dress for that. And so, yeah, that's my size. And I'm very, very possessive about my size, so I do not share my size with anybody. <laughs>